So Pastor Evan stepped down. Uh, I would like y'all to watch this, and then after that, I would like to share my own opinion. This well-known evangelical pastor says he's stepping away from the ministry because he sinned. Tony Evans is one of the founding pastors of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship Church in Dallas, Texas. And at one point, he served as the chaplain for both the Dallas Cowboys and the Mavericks. According to the church, he's one of the country's most respected leaders in evangelical circles and is a pastor of pastors and a father in faith. But on June 9th, he said he needed to step back after 48 years of work. Here's what he said. The foundation of our ministry has always been our commitment to the word of God as the absolute supreme standard of truth to which we are to conform our lives. When we fall short of that standard due to sin, we are required to repent and restore our relationship with God. A number of years ago, I fell short of that standard. He never specified what exactly the sin was. All he said was that he failed to use righteous judgment and didn't commit any crimes. And now he says he's going to embark on a healing and restoration process. Okay, so the thing about this, we don't know everything that's going on in the background. And that's one thing that I love about God. I love God, but I'm glad I'm not God. Um, I like to stay out of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's in God's hands. But one thing I can say, this can go two ways. Either, number one, um, someone threatened him to do this. Or number two, he genuinely did it with his whole heart. And I'm hoping it's number two. And if and, and whatever is going on is really not my business. But at the same time, I'm so glad that he decided to do this. I'm not against anyone to come out and say, hey, I'm wrong. Let me step down. If, if anything, I wish more pastors would do this um, because I would respect them so much more. I would. And I don't need to know the details. I really don't, especially when he said that it's not a crime, you know, so it's not it's not I don't need to be in his business like that, you know, um, trying to like figure it out what he do wrong. Um, I think that um, I would love for the whole world to know if the pastor was abusing children. You know, that's a big deal for me because now you have to uh, watch your children. You got to ask your children questions, you know, stuff like that. But he said it wasn't a crime. So that's that's the good part I like. Right. But uh, on the second hand is that, yes, um, I wish more pastors would do this. I think everyone should just keep him up in prayer and should we forgive him? It's not our business to forgive the pastor. I mean, yes, genuinely, uh, all humans need to forgive. But in this case, he, he, he came out with this. Um, this is in God's hands. This is between him and God. And um, this right here should teach people a lesson that it's not good to worship a pastor. It's not good to um, to look up to humans as God. And I'm not saying that people have, but a lot of people, a lot of pastors have allowed their congregations to treat them as if they are God. And we all need to know that yes, leaders are to be held at, you know, at a higher standard, but at the same time, they are human. They, some humans will fall. Okay. And um, some humans will get back up. And another thing I like about this is that I love that he said he sinned. You know, me, I wish he would have did it a long time ago because he said this was a long time ago, right? I wish he would have, you know, did this a long time ago, but his conscience was killing him. So this is a good news that he have a conscience. At this moment in our, of our life, you see a lot of pastors, they don't have no conscience, so he has the conscience. And number two thing I love is that he said it was sin. A lot of pastors are teaching their congregation that there is no more sin, that God, that Jesus paved the way for all of it. No one's sinning anymore. And I, you know, so this right here shows me that he knows about sin, that he's teaching his church the right thing, that, that people sin. At this moment of our life, it's a good thing to see something like this. No, not to say that a pastor fell. No, it's not that. But it's just that he came out and said, hey, I fell down and I need to go. I need to go rest. Stop preaching for a little bit. You know, I'm, I'll come back when I want to. You know, I love that. And I wish more mega pastors would do this because uh, 
the Lord has revealed so much about other mega pastors. And, and like I said before, it's like if they just repent, the way my heart is, is that, hey, at least you repented. And I'm not going to condemn anybody about that.